Carlos Vieira on administrative leave tonight accused of raping a child. The 49-year-old veteran cop seen here in a training exercise last year is now charged with two counts of aggravated rape and two counts of indecent assault and battery on a child under 14. The DA's office launched an investigation last month after the victim's mother came forward. She told police that her son, who was 13 at the time, had allegedly met Vieira using a social media app and engaged in sexual activity with him last summer. Tonight, the Lawrence police chief is calling the allegations very troubling and says we take them very seriously. Mayor Dan Rivera didn't hold back, saying, I am angry, sickened, dismayed, saddened by the allegations and charges. We have worked very hard to improve and uplift the professionalism of the Lawrence Police Department. We have fired and forced out many officers who did not meet and could not stand up to the code of conduct and the high level of professionalism that my office, the chief of police, and the men and women and leadership of the police unions have worked to establish. If found to be true, we will move swiftly to remove the officer involved. This is a travesty. We do not believe Westerman is properly punished in this case for what he did. A former Baltimore County cop, Anthony Westerman, convicted on two counts of rape. Friday, Judge Keith Trufer handed down his sentence, all suspended except for four years of home detention. No jail time. Which means, you know, this defendant who's been convicted of second degree rape will be serving the, the sentence in the privacy of their own home. And that certainly was not something that we were uh, expecting or looking for. State's attorney Scott Schellenberger says Judge Trufer decided to throw out one of the rape convictions he handed down in August and stated there was not evidence of any psychological injury to the victim. The prosecution did not provide a letter from the victim's psychologist. The victim did tell everyone, and she has been in counseling uh, ever since this incident happened, so I didn't really think there was dispute about the fact that there was psychological damage. Uh, now, candidly, we didn't have a letter from the psychologist, uh, but we very often don't. And, and there really was not a dispute that, that she has been, in fact, in counseling. You can't be raped and assaulted like that without suffering terrible trauma. Dorothy Lenig with House of Ruth was stunned by the sentence. According to court testimony, Westerman met the 22-year-old victim at a bar in 2017. She was drunk and asked for a ride home, except Westerman took her to his house where she passed out and he raped her. Both Schellenberger and Lenig worry about the lasting implications of this sentence. I think this is what makes it so hard for victims, um, particularly of sex crimes, to come forward because I think it feels to the victim like nothing happened to this man. It really is the entire package that, that I, I think sends the wrong message, not only to defendants, but also to sexual assault victims. Uh, by, by them seeing this sentence, they may have second thoughts about reporting their own uh, rape case. <laughs> New at 10 tonight, a St. Louis police officer is facing charges accused of touching a young girl multiple times. Mark West is charged with three counts of child molestation. A mugshot is not yet available, but News 4 found this image from police on Twitter. In 2016, West was named an Officer of the Year for the 1st Patrol District. Investigators tell us he's accused of fondling a girl under 12 on three occasions. All happened in St. Genevieve between May and August of this year. News 4 has reached out to St. Louis police tonight for comment. We are still awaiting word back.